John, we're live. Thank you. Sergeants, please start your recordings. You see recording all set. So recording, set. Backup is rolling. Good afternoon and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing for the Committee on Public Safety. At this time, would all members please turn on their video for verification purposes. And to minimize disruptions, please place all electronic devices to vibrate or silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation, Chair Adams. We are ready to begin. Good afternoon. I'm Councilmember Adrian Adams from the 28th District in Queens, and I am the Chair of the Committee on Public Safety. Today, we're voting on Introduction 2108A in re relation to increasing penalties for damaging houses of worship, sponsored by Councilmember Cabrera. We're also voting on Resolution 1619 calling on Congress to pass and the president to sign the COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act, which would facilitate the expedited review of COVID-19 hate crimes. It's truly disappointing that we actually need to vote on these pieces of legislation. It's it incomprehensible to me that in the midst of a generational struggle that has required such a degree of shared sacrifice and unity from so many of us, there are people in our city who would choose to perpetuate divisiveness and hatred. The statistics we heard from the NYPD at our budget hearing yesterday are staggering. For example, 81 hate crimes against Asian Americans compared to 17 over the same period last year. That's over four times as many of these crimes and who knows how many more incidents of hate speech, intimidation, offensive language, and foolish scapegoating of our Asian American brothers and sisters. On top of all of that, the recent targeting of synagogues and other houses of worship is just sickening. No doubt fueled by the rhetoric of national politicians who seek to divide us for their own gain. I'm not going to say that by passing these measures, we're going to end racial, ethnic, and religious hatred tomorrow. I know the struggle will continue and that for a long time, there will still be individuals who carry hate in their hearts, but we must do something. Of course, at its most basic level, this vote is intended to send a message that anyone who damages a house of worship will face a more significant punishment. And we're sending a message to Congress that because so much of this division has been exacerbated by national political discourse, that Congress needs to act and the Department of Justice needs to help us find a path forward. But the most important message we're sending today is that we stand with those who have been targeted by these attacks and with their communities, and with everyone who feels a little less safe on they, their way to work or school, in their churches, synagogues, mosques, or wherever and however they pray. We will do everything in our power to show you that these incidents do not represent who we are as a city. New York City is and always will be at its core, a home to every race, creed, and color. I hope anyone who is hurting out there as a result of these attacks clearly hears the message of unity and feels just a little more secure in the knowledge that we see you and will keep working and fighting for you for as long as it takes. With that, I will turn it over to the sponsors of today's legislation to make a statement. Council Member Cabrera. Thank you so much, Madam Chair, and thank you for your support because I know it comes from your heart. And I wanna thank the speaker as well for allowing this vote uh, to come to the floor of this wonderful committee. As you heard recently, we have seen a dramatic increase in the number of attacks on New York City houses of worship. These attacks directed against some of our most cherished and sacred institutions are a front against all New Yorkers and should be roundly condemned. These attacks not only still a sense of fear in our city, but also, uh, also uh, it creates a, a sense of intimidation. Our houses of worship represents the jewel in the crown of New York City and deserve our protection. Intro 21008A uh, will increase the minimum fine from damaging houses of worship from 500 to a thousand dollars. This increase will serve as an added layer of protection of a houses of worship 
demonstrate our commitment to supporting our city's religious institutions. Every New Yorker deserves to feel secure in practicing their faith. Conversely, we also, as a committee, have a duty to stand against religious persecution or attacks or intimidation. And this is why I'm so glad to put forth this bill as someone who's a pastor uh, myself. My own church has been defaced as recently as just two months ago. I talked to uh, an imam the other day, not only tw once, but twice within a week, uh, his house of worship, his mosque, uh, was defaced, whether it's Catholic churches, well, what we saw here in Riverdale as well. We, we have to send a loud message. So I'm, I, I wanna thank uh, the staff who have worked on this bill. And also I wanna thank all my colleagues uh, who signed on and are uh, voting aye on this bill. Thank you so much, Madam Chair. Thank you very much, Councilmember Cabrera. Uh, I don't see council floor remarks. So with that, we will go ahead over to committee clerk to begin our vote. Thank you. Good afternoon, William Martin, committee clerk. Roll call vote committee on public safety introduction 2108A and resolution 1619. Both items are coupled. Chair Adams. I proudly vote aye on all. Cabrera. I am on all, thank you. Thank you, Gibson. Congratulations to my colleagues and I vote aye on today's agenda. Thank you. Thank you. Miller. Permission to explain. Council member Miller to explain his vote. Thank you, Madam, Madam Chair, and, 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 and thank you to uh, Council Members Cabrera and, and Nicole for introducing this legislation. I just want to say to all our, our Ramadan Mubarak, which is soon to be in the next 24 hours, Eid Mubarak. It's been a long 30, when I won 31 days um, and, and uh, of, of the holiest days of the, of the Muslim calendar. I've had the opportunity to travel throughout the city. Uh, and, and fortunately for me, uh, have not had the experience of, 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 of uh, des desecration of, of any of the mosques that I've gone to. And, and I'm, I'm very sorry to hear. In fact, we had uh, what, what Councilmember Cabrera said, we had a uh, uh, iftar celebration with uh, uh, Chief Harrison on, on Monday night. And uh, it was uh, severely um, down severely from years past and, and that, Maybe because there was an underreporting. I hope that that is not the case. I hope that that man's humanity to man and respect and values for others, faith and culture has been elevated in, in the most trying time. And, and, and that's uh, what we um, uh, will we'll learn to live with in, in, in the near future. But sometimes you cannot educate in which time in which you have to legislate. And this, I think, is that important to demonstrate that we are so supportive of our faith-based institutions, houses of worship, that we would, uh, in, in this case, legislate. And in and, and terms of the uh, uh, resolution on, on Asian hate, uh, uh, clearly there's no space for that. And, and as, as uh, co-chair of the Black Latino and Asian Caucus, I uh, want to cast this vote in support of uh, the Asian community. So I vote aye on both. Thank you. Thank you. Brennan. I vote aye on all. Holden. Congratulations and thank you to council members Cabrera and Kuhl and I vote aye on all. Powers. I and all. Thank you. Thank you. One moment. By a vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, both items have been adopted by the committee. And Madam Chair, we are waiting for about a few more members. Okay, we will leave the vote open for a couple more minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you, committee members. And thank you, Council Members Cabrera and Ku. Committee clerk, am, am I, can I do a vote as well? Can I give you Councilmember Menchaca? Uh, my, my apologies. It's okay. Councilmember Menchaca. I vote I know and I have some remarks, but I'll, I'll deliver them on the state of floor. Thank you, Chair. 
and uh, Council Members Ku and Cabrera. My apologies, vote is eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Billy, can you call on Council Member Riley, please? Good afternoon, Council Member Riley. I don't see him on. I just switched him over. Hold on, he may be still in the 10 days. Billy, Council Member Riley is having some technical difficulties. Um, he's going to vote from my screen. Just give me one second. Council Member Riley, are you ready to vote? Yes, I am. I'm full. Okay. I will. Just hold on for one second. Okay. Billy? Sure. Uh, good afternoon, Council Member Riley, Committee on Public Safety, introductions 2108A and 1619. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Vote. Vote is currently at nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Chair Adams, we are checking on one more member. Okay, thank you very much.
Good afternoon, Council Member Rodriguez, Committee on Public Safety. Roll call vote. Aye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Final vote on public safety, introductions 2108A and resolution 1619 are both adopted by the committee with a final vote of 10 in the affirmative, zero in the negative and no abstentions. Thank you. That's full committee, Ma uh, Madam Chair. Thank you very much, Mr. Clark. This meeting of the public